my invitation. Just you and me. Come on! So fast, Deathstroke. He's my kill. Find a body? No. And next time, keep your other assassins out of my way. You had your shot, Deathstroke. But you're not the only assassin in town. And the night is young. Commissioner Loeb before it's too late. 
No, please, not again! Oh, I'll kill you, all right. But by the time I do, that eye won't be the only thing you're missing. What is that? Behind you! Oh, come on. Expect me to fall for that? I mean, try something original. Ah! Who do you think you are? Here for Commissioner Loeb. Maybe one of his men knows where he's headed. Commissioner's pockets, because they are lying with my money. And what have I got to show for it, huh? My own men in the slammer? No, I'm no more. Move! No, tonight, we're making some changes. Some big changes. What's all this about, Sionis? Haven't I always come through for you? You may have, Gillian, but uh, things have changed. We're starting with a clean slate. And you're not on it. What are you talking about? I'm not on it? After all, I've done for you. You can't do this! I'm a police commissioner, damn it! <laughs> Show's over, boys. <laughs> I'm too late. Commissioner Loeb is dead. Black Mask has a lot to answer for. It's the Bat! We're never getting out of here! I told you to grab the memory card! You wanted it, Master. Oh, I smashed it. It better be, or the next thing that gets smashed will be your face! <laughs> the memory card is damaged. I should be able to recover most of the data back at the Batcave. Thing is a Batman, eh? 
Are you back for the night, sir? Shall I warm up Christmas dinner? No. It's going to be a long night, Alfred. I just ran into a human-shaped crocodile who told me Black Mask has hired assassins to kill me. Assassins, sir? As in more than one? That's right. And you heard this from the mouth of a crocodile, man? His name is Killer Croc. He's already behind bars. Oh, I pity his cellmate. I don't. Let's see what else is on the drone's hard drive. Each of them gets one of these envelopes. I need them delivered tonight. They're all hired killers, the best in the business. Black Mask isn't messing around. Slade Wilson, Deathstroke, former military, subject of a failed medical experiment. Failed, you say? Garfield Lins, AKA Firefly, burns on 90% of his body. His obsession is going to be his end. How unlike anyone I know. Here's a face I don't recognize, Copperhead. Strange, these reports reference a male, not a female. 14 escapes, huh? Well, you won't forget, not What the? Floyd Lawton, a.k.a. Deadshot, Freeze. says here he's an expert sharpshooter. How on earth? Suspected of many assassinations. Dangerous, but reckless. Street tough named Lester Baczynski. Calls himself Electrocutioner. Shocking. Shiva. Her skill is unmatched. Is that Warden Joseph? Must be how Black Mask got inside the prison. He uses torture for intimidation and entertainment. Eight assassins after your head. What are you going to do? I'm going to find out who is operating this drone. Make them tell me what they know. Then I'm going to find Black Mask and put an end to this. Sir, I may be stating the obvious here, but you do realize that since you and I are the only people who know the Batman's true identity, those assassins will all fail their mandate if you'd just spend the evening here. They'll put innocents in danger to attract my attention. I can't take that risk. And you think it's a better idea to just put yourself in their crosshairs? There's only one person in Gotham who can get his hands on something like this. The Penguin. He's been tracking Black Mask. Its next waypoint was a rendezvous with Penguin's men at Jezebel Plaza. I'll make them talk. Seal my movements. I need to get up and out of danger. He can't shoot what he can't see. Attacking head on is a good way to get myself shot, and probably the hostage, too. But they won't expect an attack from above. Nobody ever does. Is that thing out there with you? Are you crazy? We were answering. Ah! That's it? No! No! This. I quit. <laughs> Get yourself to safety, and call the police. They'll want to see what's going on here. Okay, I will. I can, I can fix the tower. Whatever you want, just please don't hurt me. 
All I want is for you to get yourself to safety. Well, well, if it isn't the King Thug himself. Figured it was only a matter of time before you showed up. Sorry about the mess downstairs. Who is this? Think of me as a great big mystery, one you're never going to solve. Enigma, then. Oh, you must think you're so clever. Well, how's this for clever? I've taken control of towers all over the city. As long as they're active, your bat wing's useless. And it looks like it's gonna stay that way. I mean, this one's practically begging to be taken offline, and you still can't hack it. Pun intended, of course. Hmm, Black Mask's not going to like this. What are you talking about? Wouldn't you like to know? I see you've regained control of the Batwing, sir. I suppose it's off to Jezebel Plaza, then. That's the plan. But then I've also got a lead on Enigma. Well, don't overthink it too much, sir. We both know you'll eventually wind up doing both. If I don't get to Jezebel Plaza before that arms deal, I'll have no way to locate the Penguin. Looks like I'm the first one here. I need to find a spot where I can stake this place out unnoticed. Penguin. Not a dime changes hands in this city he can't tell you about. If anyone knows where Black Mask and his assassins are, it's him. But Penguin's hard to find. His men are doing a deal here. I'll make them talk. Guys! <laughs> so, little boys, what do you want for Christmas? Oh wait, I already know. jamming the Batwing's auto nerve systems. I've highlighted the tower on your map. I'll need to stop that signal before I can track down the Penguin. The Penguin's pretty pissed off about the deal going south. Yeah, if I was involved in that, I'd be on my way out of the city. Alfred, I'm reading a signal from Penguin's men, but it's not associated with any known wireless frequency. Ah, yes, I see it here. Looks like Penguin runs his own private wireless network, using laptop transmitters serving as ad hoc comm stations. He's feeding his men frequencies via two-way radio. There are two of these comm stations near your position. Good. Mark them on my map. If I can find and hack those walkie-talkies, I can triangulate Penguin's position. Batman! You expect me to believe that? This I need to find the next order. comm station. The then I'll be able to triangulate Penguin's position. Then mess with our shipment. Like saving his own ass. So next time you want to make up a story, you better hope the person you're telling it to is dumber than you are. Oh, wait. That's right. There ain't no one dumber than you! Mr. Cobblepot, I swear it was the bat. He dropped Ricky off the roof of the clock tower straight into the Christmas tree. I don't care what you think you saw. 
If you're not back here with my money in the next ten minutes, I'll cut your damn eyeballs out. And then you won't have to worry about seeing nothing ever again. Is that clear? Yes, Mr. Cobblepot. Sorry, Mr. Cobblepot. All right, everyone, listen up. I know I ought to cancel our annual boiler deck fights after what happened tonight at Jezebel Plaza. But just to show you what a there nice are, guy I am, on board the, the fights offer. are still on. So get yourself down to the ship right now if you want in on this. I'll make myself clear. Penguin's been hiding out on an old okay, ship. No wonder he's been I so hard to find. Now there's a naughty geezer. Proper naughty. And he deserves a right proper welcome, don't he, lad? He just saved me a lot of trouble coming here, but man. I'm gonna kill you. Then I'm gonna jumpstart your heart. And kill you again. <laughs> Sure, and I'll crush your larynx. What's it going to be? All right, all right. Uh, he's in his office. Only way in is through the theater on the other side of the casino. But you'll never get past Tracy. Tracy is not a problem. That worked better than the last interrogation. Someone as paranoid as Black Mask wouldn't trust a loudmouth like him with any secrets. If I want to find Sionis, I need to find Penguin first. Alfred, I had a run-in with one of the assassins, Lester Baczynski. The electrocutioner. Are you alright? Yes, but he managed to escape. His gloves put out a strong electromagnetic pulse. If you can isolate the signal, I'll be able to track him down. I'll get to work on that. Where are you off to now? I'm on my way to the final offer's casino. I'm going to make Penguin's assistant show me to her boss. The casino. Penguin's assistant must be nearby. I'll make her tell me where I can find Cobblepot's office. Aren't you a persistent pain in my bottle? Mr. Cobblepot ain't taking new visitors, and there ain't no way I'm letting you in to see him, so you can be on your merry way. Oh, no, I'm really deep in it. Candy! <sighs> She's earned herself a dry slap, she has. That better be lip gloss you're reaching for. Come on! Enough's enough! Open her up and let me out! Now, where were we? Candy. You suggested little Alberto over here. Hey, baby. Try to convince his father to take early retirement. He disagreed and called you a, let's see, psychotic little bastard. No, 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 please! <laughs> <laughs> Now you best listen, Falcone. Because this is the last time I'll ask. What are you going to tell your father? That we're getting out of the weapons business. I promise. I'll make him do it. <laughs> I see your lips flapping, Bernie. But they ain't making the sound I want to hear. Now hold on. Hold on a bloody minute. 
I seen your act. I ain't done nothing you've not done. Stop. Black Mask. Put a bounty on my head. Where is he? I don't keep tabs on him in Giza with a grudge. You're not a popular bloke in this town. You're running out of time. Wait, wait. <coughs> Lacey Towers. There was a murder. It was supposed to be his safe house. But all black man. He's got problems of his own, I'd say. Someone broke in there. <coughs> Slade Wilson tied up and waiting for them. 
along with some of Penguin's illegally obtained weapons. Uh, another anonymous tip? Will do, sir. Oppressed citizens of Gotham, your cries for help have been heard. I am anarchy, voice of the people, here to save you from the plague of corruption that now infests this once proud city. Those hired and elected to keep us free and safe won't lift a finger. And why would they? They've been bought and paid for, encouraged to turn a blind eye. If they won't act, I will. At dawn's first light, the sources of Gotham's ruin will be destroyed. I should hurry to Lacey Towers before the cops destroy all the evidence from the crime scene Penguin mentioned. The police believe Penguin murdered Black Mask. But why would he send me here if he was the killer? It doesn't add up. This crime took place days ago. The fire and the exposure to the elements make identifying the victims difficult. The male victim is wearing a black mask, but I can't positively identify him as Roman Sionis without a DNA analysis. Something I can't do in the field. I can identify the female victim based on her fingerprints. Tiffany Ambrose, Roman Sionis' girlfriend, or one of them at least. She was no angel, long list of priors, but nothing to indicate she was the target here. The fire spread as a result of a Molotov cocktail thrown into the room. It may have been intended to destroy evidence. The shallow trajectory of the bullet suggests the shooter could be someone of Penguin's height. But the grooves on the floor suggest that the victim was killed by someone leaning back in a chair. This bullet was fired from a revolver. Ballistics analysis indicates a low angle of trajectory. The shooter could have been someone of Penguin's height. But the pattern in the gunpowder residue suggests the bullet was actually fired by someone lying on the ground. These fingerprints are a match for the penguin, but they're on top of the soot from the fire. The cops were right. Penguin was in the room, but these prints prove he was here after the murders were committed. If he didn't kill Black Mask, who did? The only thing I know for certain is that Tiffany's shooter was lying on the floor. But why? These white streaks are shoe polish. Whoever shot Tiffany was being dragged along the floor. Besides the victims, there were two other people in the room. Tiffany's shooter, and whoever was dragging the shooter. The location from which the male victim was shot may tell me more. The DNA here doesn't belong to either of the victims. Whose is it? The fight broke out when someone startled the shooter. It's not clear who won the fight. It could have been either one of them. I should review the evidence to see if I can learn anything more about either the intruder or the shooter. Fabric analysis indicates the intruder was wearing a white suit or sport jacket. This fabric swatch could help identify the intruder, but I still can't identify the male victim's shooter. There's one impact area I haven't checked for clues. This DNA is from the female victim. The level of oxidation suggests it's been here for several days. If I review the evidence, I may be able to find out what she was doing when she was attacked. She was sending text messages to Roman Sionis about someone named the Joker. Someone killed Black Mask. But this crime took place several days ago, and I saw Black Mask earlier tonight. The only answers I have raise more questions. Who is the Joker? Was he the killer here? Or is he one of the assassins? I have a body, an unknown shooter, 
and an unknown assailant who attacked the shooter. I need to match the DNA samples against the records in the National Criminal Database to identify who was in the room. Alfred, I need access to the National Criminal Database. Well, the only way to do that would be to infiltrate the Gotham City Police Department. Then that's where I'm going. Sir, you'd need to physically hack into their servers. If you insist on doing something that foolish, you'll need a powerful non-lethal weapon. I recommend coming back here to pick up your concussion detonator. Not a bad idea. Welcome home, sir. The concussion detonator is on your workbench. Remember, if you use that instead of your fists, you'll do less lasting damage to those police officers and civil servants. Noted. Ship's over. Low. Low understood. The problem is Gordon ain't it. This won't be easy. But if I'm going to access the National Criminal Database and find out what happened at Lacey Towers, I need to find the server room without being discovered. Sign me up for that. So what does this disruptor of yours do? Little bit of this, little bit of that. Mostly, though, it does a whole lot of nothing. be walking anywhere, ever. No way! You gotta answer for dropping me off that rooftop, buddy! No, you have to answer to me. How does this disruptor work? Ask one of the pigs! They got it in evidence lockup! How about we take a little walk up to the roof? Okay, okay, you win! It, it jams weapons, overrides electronic locks, all right? Now you gotta let me go! How'd that work out for you last time? The worst kind of criminal. The kind who thinks their actions are justified. Who acts completely outside the system. The system is broken. Barbara, wait. <gasps> Easy. I need access to the National Criminal Database. It's right here. You must spend a lot of time here. Cool poem box. You're bypassing the network security. Hmm. But you'll need to physically bridge the intranet to the external telecom wires if you want to uplink remotely. This kind of knowledge could get a young girl into a lot of trouble. They run under the building. What does? The telecom wires. You can access them through the sewers. Wait. Why do you do what you do? Because I made a promise. Get out of here! <laughs> you idiot, this is me! What are you thinking? Who are you talking to in there? Alfred, I'm on my way out, but before I can access the server remotely, I need to hack into the telecom wires under the GCPD. You should be able to access them from the sewers which run below the building. I'll peg the closest entrance on your map. out of my way. Uh, never. Listen, I'm on your side. My side? My side works within the law. 
My side doesn't leave suspects with broken bones and missing teeth. We've earned Gotham's respect. If that were true, I wouldn't believe it. Gordon, clear the line of fire! Hold your fire! If he moves, take him down. You've got nowhere to run. Move, Gordon! I'm taking him down! I've highlighted a nearby manhole on your map. Those sewer tunnels lead directly under the GCPD. Good work, Alfred. Oh, and, sir, uh, do try to keep out of the uh, uh, muck down there. Remember who has to clean your suit. Hello, Batman? It's Barbara. Sorry for uh, hacking into your comms, but I need a favor. Some evidence crates have gone missing. Army-grade stuff, and no one here is doing anything about it. So I'm sending you their GPS location information. Use your weapon disruptor on any crates you find. It'll fry their circuits and render the stuff useless. Master Bruce, you are directly beneath the GCPD. The telecom wires should be right under your nose. Alfred, confirm we now have access to the National Criminal Database. Connection confirmed. You can now perform DNA analysis. I'm also sending over the police file for the Lacid Towers kit. This photo is from the day of the murder. It's a perfect match. The DNA tells more of the story. But here's something the police overlooked. Roman Sionis owns the Gotham Merchants Bank. And he installed biometric security only he could access. Alfred, I have enough information to solve the Lacey Towers case. Here's what happened. By now, Gotham PD thinks Roman Sionis is dead. The casualty of a turf war. Murdered by the Penguin. But I know better. Someone spooked Sionis' girlfriend. So he sent her to his safe house. Which was anything but safe. Sionis showed up later. Ready for trouble. And found it. Or so it seemed. Roman's always been paranoid. That's probably why he's lasted this long. He'd sent in a decoy giving himself the element of surprise. But it wasn't enough. There was a fight. Sionis lost. The killer didn't hesitate to shoot the decoy, but he wanted Roman alive to access the cash stored at the Gotham Merchants Bank. With Sionis under control, all that remained was to tie up loose ends. But it wasn't the fire that killed Sionis' girlfriend. forces a man to kill the ones he loves. The Joker. He's the shadow I've been chasing. And now I know where he's going next. Gotham Merchants Bank. Alfred, see if you can find any information on someone named the Joker. Searching now, sir. Hmm. There doesn't seem to be anything coming up. What do you know about him? Not much, but he's taken Black Mask hostage. Hostage? So Sionis isn't dead? I don't think so. From what I can tell, he's worth more to the Joker alive. The Joker wants to use him to break into the Gotham Merchants Bank. I'm on my way there now. You are very cordially, cordially, cordially. You are very cordially invited to a party. And it will be a grand affair. Grand affair. Grand affair. And it will be a grand affair hosted by the Hatter. We do hope that you can come. You can come. You can come. We do hope that you can come to share in all the joy. 
Greetings and salutations, Batman. I am Jervis Tetch, inventor, entrepreneur, and part-time haberdasher. You must be wondering why it is I sought you out. Well, I have an employment opportunity I'd like to discuss with you. Help me! Please! If you can hear this, it's going to... <laughs> oh, don't mind, Alice. Poor dear, her mind is all a flutter, and who can blame her after all she's been through? But I'll have a writer's reign soon enough. Don't you worry about that. Think you can just waltz under my bank, huh? Roman, I'm here for the Joker. The Joker? <laughs> Never heard of him. How about you, dog? Know the Joker? The who? <laughs> and you, sir? Name Joker? Ring a bell? <laughs> you son of a bitch! You think you can steal from me? I got away with it! You're a dead man! Dead! Can't you just play along? <laughs> Assassins, you've been running Sionis's operation. Well, technically it's my operation now. Isn't that right, boys? You've got me. Now let her go. Oh, life would be so simple if you were all I wanted. No, no, you're just a teeny little distraction compared to what I've got on my sleeve. <laughs> Where's the Joker going? Guy's nuts, man. Killed about a quarter of black masked men when they wouldn't take orders from him. Unless you want to join them, talk. He said something about the steel mill. That's Sionis's mill. <laughs> it's Joker's mill now. Ain't no way you're getting in there. I didn't ask for your opinion. <laughs> Alfred. Pull schematics on Sionis Industries' steel mill. Joker's taken Sionis there. He's going to kill him. Unless I get there first. This Joker sounds dangerous. He's taken over Black Mask's operations and slaughtered the men who wouldn't turn. He's the one who hired the assassins. And it must be he who ordered the bombing of the GCPD. Oh, dear lord. Shouldn't you think about letting the police handle this one? Not a chance. He's mine. Alfred, I'm uploading data from one of Black Mask's servers. I need codes to bypass the security door in the loading dock. Receiving it now, sir. Interesting. Cyanus had a pacemaker implanted. It says here he had prolonged QT syndrome. Anything that raises his heart rate could trigger cardiac arrest. Cyanus was having the Joker followed. These photos show him obtaining chemicals used in making explosives. If I find Cyanus, he'll know what the Joker's planning. Sir, I found the security codes you were looking for. You have access to the building now. Get me out of this thing. Where's the Joker? Go to hell. Wrong answer. If 
By my count, there are still nine more ribs I can break. Do you think that'll make me talk? After what he's put me through, the torture, turned my men on me, stole from me, murdered my woman, he's my kill, not yours! I can control your pacemaker remotely. You wanna see what 250 beats per minute feels like? You wouldn't. Copperhead. Tell him I'll pay you whatever you want. Make him suffer and I'll pay you. An empty promise from a fallen king. I know about the Joker. Couple of freaks. You two deserve each other. What did you do to me? I killed you. And in a few more minutes, your body will realize it. <laughs> That's it. Use your strength. With every effort, you hasten your end. <laughs> Must scan the room for Copperhead's poison. Female perspiration. Copperhead came this way. All I need is one drop of poison. There. It's a powerful neurotoxin. Alfred, uploading analysis of a neurotoxin. I need you to synthesize an antidote. Your vitals are off the charts. What happened? Uh, never mind. Just get up to ground level so I can send in an airdrop. And after this, you're coming back here so I can have a look at you. What would your father say if he could see you now? throwing away your family's hard-earned fortune on these frivolous nightly escapades. And for what? You're not this city's savior. You're a wane. And a spoiled, wasteful disappointment of a wane at that. Have you forgotten what your family name stands for? You disappoint me. You disappoint me.
think you're cured? My poison is still in your veins and it will remain there as long as you live. Which won't be very long. You think these ties will hold me? Maybe not. I'd like to see you have a I know where he is. The Joker. Tell me. He's called a meeting. All the assassins will be there. When you set me free, I'll tell you where. Thanks. I owe you one. Right. I can tell you the location. You already did. Alfred, send GCPD an anonymous tip. Tell them to look inside the shipping containers at the steel mill. Uh, does that mean you've dealt with Copperhead, sir? Yes, and I'm about to deal with the Joker. I don't think that's wise after what you've just been through. You should come back here for medical... Not now, Alfred. Electrocutioner's gloves emit a powerful electromagnetic signal which I can follow with my scanner. He'll lead me right to the Joker. But I need to get out of the steel mill first. Master Bruce, has the Joker taken a room at the Gotham Royal? He's in here, and Swatter doing his dirty work, keeping Gordon and the media away from whatever's going on inside. Doesn't Brandon realize it's not Black Mask he's working with? I guess you'll find out when I bring in the Joker. Friends, assassins, Welcome to our first quarterly performance review. As you can see here, Batman deaths are coming in far below projections. <laughs> we are really gonna have to turn this around. And by we, I mean you. <laughs> Got that, Mr. Cushioner? Just who the hell are you? I'm the guy with the money. And the gun. <laughs> so, when I hire you to kill the Batman, you shall... Shut the hell up and kill the Batman! So do you have any... Else to contribute. I didn't think so. Get out there and kill the bat. Move it along, big boy. No, he's coming for you now. And when he gets here, I'm going to kill him. ceiling so I can get out of here. Maybe Electrocutioner's shock gloves could restore power to this platform. <laughs> oh, you just couldn't wait till New Year's, huh? Oh, guess the fireworks are going off early! <laughs> Getting this? Yeah, we're still live. This is Vicki Vale reporting live from the Gotham Royal 
Central Hotel, where there has just been a massive explosion. And now it appears the Batman has been blown from the building by the blast and is somehow hanging from the bottom of our helicopter. What's this? Several armed men have gathered on a balcony. Those men have guns! We gotta go! We wait for him to jump. It's not worth it, Vicky! Unconfirmed sighting at twice tonight and caught him on film. Could this be the turning of a new leap for the mysterious vigilante? Is he about to become a public figure? One thing for sure, Patience, after what I've seen him do tonight, he's on his back. way to becoming a household name. You saw it here tonight. The Batman on live television. This is Vicky Vale signing off. The Joker will fall under Bane's These men under ours. I've just seen the explosion at the Gotham Royal on the news. The hotel guests, are they safe? Not now, Alfred. Sir, are you all right? Your voice... I'm fine, Alfred. I've dealt with psychopaths before, but this... Sir, I strongly suggest you call in Captain Gordon. He could be a valuable ally for you. I don't need any allies. to drop in <coughs> and just in time oh, he's my parasol <laughs> remember you gave your word you have one minute do they even have manners where he comes from <laughs> you see it's a tradition in my house to open one present each on Christmas Eve. Hmm. How about... this one? <laughs> and a party's in a pantry! How many lives did you just take? None! I think... That was just a little stocking stuffer. A construction site blocking my view. <laughs> but this one isn't.
done with him. I'll be coming for you, payaso loco. I need a challenge. How long before you bang? Deserved death. <laughs> Just like me. <laughs> Freeze! <laughs> Don't move, freak! I think he's talking to you. I guess he got away. Take him to Blackgate. Where'd he go? Huh? The back. The partner. <laughs> My partner. Who else would jump off a building to save your sorry ass? You know, officer. <laughs> I was wondering the same thing myself.
Welcome to Blackgate. We're gonna do a quick psychiatric evaluation. Bad day, huh? Cops in this city. Always beating on the sick and defenseless. Tell me something, dear. Have you ever had a really bad day? And what do you mean by that? You of all people should know. <laughs> There's nothing so cruel as memory. The pointy biting little thunderbolts, unwanted party crashes, screaming for your synapses. <laughs> Inescapable, unrelenting, not at all friendly. <laughs> You can't even escape into madness! <laughs> and then you meet someone who changes your life. And you feel that you don't even know who you are anymore. Isn't it funny how one little encounter can cleave off little pieces of your past, deform your memories and persona until you rethink your whole identity? <laughs> and as you realize how Foolish you know, <laughs> Your laughter reverberates off the walls of your own emptiness. Okay. I'm gonna need more specifics. How about we try some word association? That sounds delightful. Acceptance. Oh, well, that's a little try, isn't it? Look, I'm only doing this to help you. Let's try this again. Acceptance. <laughs> My favorite stage. <laughs> okay. One more. And I need you to be serious for this one. Fate. <laughs> you want to know something funny? I used to think of fate as evil. Predetermined, not by some higher power, no, but... By the rules of human nature. Tonight, it's all changed. What changed? Have you ever had the feeling that your entire life has been building towards this one moment? Is that how you feel? <laughs> yes. Now I realize that all the battles, the bad days, the brutalities, it was all the hand of fate at work. So, now you see fate differently? <laughs> Absolutely. Now I understand there are no chance encounters. It was all meant to be. Everything leading up to who I've met tonight. So, you've met someone special? And you might say it's changed everything. Everything? Absolutely. I mean, do you realize what a vile world we live in? How lonely it is to wade through all that wretched filth on your own? It is kind of lonely, isn't it? Of course. Of course. You understand. Even in a crowd of other screwballs, <laughs> you're so alone that you can kick, claw, yell, scream at the top of your lungs. No one cares. It's like you don't even exist. I feel... Sometimes I feel like I'm trapped on this path leading nowhere. Into just emptiness. Now... Now you feel like you've got someone by your side. To share the journey with you. How does that make you feel? I feel adrift, floating, like someone's pulled the stopper on my reality, and I'm sucked down the drain into something new. It's all very exciting, really. <laughs> you wouldn't know what that feels like, I'm sure. I might. Can you tell me more about how this person makes you feel? 
It's like meeting someone I can actually relate to. Which, believe me, dear, I've never felt before. <laughs> you understand? You're someone who's not afraid to let go and fall. <laughs> Free falling, and I didn't pack a shoot. <laughs> You know what I mean? Yes. Yes, I do. I figured you would. So, may I ask, who is this person? Oh, someone very, very special. But whose real name I don't even know yet. Uh, my name's Halleen. Halleen Quinzel. What a pretty name. Do your friends call you Honey? Oh, I don't have a lot of friends. Well, Harley, you got one now. a bit anticlimactic, but I hoped you might finally be ready to celebrate Christmas Eve, now that the Joker's behind bars. Bane is still out there. I've got to locate the signal from the tracker I placed on him. Even you must eat, sir. If you hadn't called the police, he'd already be in custody. Dispatch, this is Delta 47. You know, I made a promise of my own to your parents. No sign of any casualties. Not now, Alfred. Story back to the precinct. I see that. Not bombs under the foundation. Some kind of hopped up freak. Must have been 400 pounds of muscle. Took six cops to gun that bastard down. Yeah, I saw the body in the morgue. Couldn't believe it. Sounds like this could be Bane or one of his men. If I hurry to the GCPD morgue, I can inspect the body and the autopsy report. Well, before you leave, I've run some tests on the compound you found at the steel mill. Looks like a match for your globular projectile for non-lethal restraint. You mean the glue grenade? Indeed. The resin has finished curing. It's at your workbench. <clears throat> Master Bruce. Stop! Master Bruce. Bruce! Bruce you... I will not in good conscience allow you to go! You're outmatched by these assassins! I'm what? You're not some hardened vigilante. You're a young man with a trust fund and too much anger. You're in over your head and I... I don't want this to be your end. Alfred, who do you see when you look at me? The boy whose shoes you used to tie every morning? The teenager you drove to his first date? While you are here every night, I am out there. The only thing between the innocent you and the may predator. be! No, not what? may be. I am. When the mugger or the thief stops to think twice, that is fear. That is what I am. That is why they hired assassins, because I am the reason the criminals breathe easier when the sun rises. So no, Alfred, I am not in over my head. Tonight will be my end. But it will be theirs! I trust you realize you can't just waltz into the GCPD 
stop everything that's happened there tonight. I know I can't do that. I'll have to find a way in that'll avoid detection. Indeed. Now look, I'm sorry about what I said before you left. I hope you understand. It's just because... It's okay. I understand. It's not Bane, but one of his men. The same one I saw at the riot in the precinct's holding cells earlier. I should scan his corpse. The victim was dosed with a chemical that caused temporary deformation of his physiology. I'll need to check the autopsy report to find out more. That computer should contain the autopsy report I'm looking for. Interesting. The victim was using a powerful compound with many similarities to the street drug Venom at the time of his death. It changes the user's muscle and bone structure, greatly enhancing strength for a temporary period. It appears that whatever this compound is, it reduces mental capacity in several ways, including severe damage to the brain's memory center. Prolonged use could seriously compromise the user's memory. There's Bane's tracker. My tracking device is in here somewhere, which means Bane is likely in here as well. Some of this research is dedicated to overcoming his own addiction and dependency on Venom. Impressive work. But it looks like Bane hasn't found a way to counter the damaging side effects this compound has on the brain's memory centers. Project TN1. Looks like Bane's experimenting with a new form of venom. Whatever it is, it must be what caused the physiological changes I saw in the corpse back at the GCPD. You're not safe at Wayne Manor. Got it. I'll call the police. No, I can't risk them discovering my identity as well. Just secure yourself in the Batcave. What are you going to do? I'm on my way to you. I'll figure something out. I need to get back to the Batcave, and quickly. Repeat, suspect is airborne in a jetpack, armed with a flamethrower. Multiple hostages on the Pioneer Bridge. Firefly. He must not know Joker's behind bars, and he's putting those people in danger to get to me. Delta 6-5 to dispatch. Who's the OIC of Pioneers? Captain James Gordon is the officer in charge. A lot of lives could be at risk at the bridge. If I can hack Firefly's communication channel, I can learn more. If the cops try anything stupid, kill a few hostages. Sure thing. And, uh, how long before we set the timers on the bombs? Not until the bat shows. We'll wait all night if we have to. There's 50 million dollars riding on this. Alfred, Firefly has hostages on the Pioneer's Bridge. I need to deal with him before coming back. Oh, can't you just let the police handle Mr. Linz? Especially in light of what we've just learned. I can't abandon those hostages. They're in jeopardy because of me. Because of the bounty Joker placed on my head. They'll be safe in the Batcave.
Bridge. Sit the time. We'll blow them all to hell. Gordon would never enter a breach if he knew about Firefly's bombs. I've got to stop him before he sends his men into a trap. Dispatch, this is Marine 4. Where's the tactical command post? We're supposed to report to Gordon. TTP is inside the center pillar at the base of the bridge. 10-4. Don't send in your men. Firefly has the bridge rigged with explosives. Show yourself! Brandon and Gordon, we're in place. We can you have a go! You. No! Call them back. If Firefly blows the bridge, there's no telling how many will die. You're the reason those people are in danger. He's doing this for the bounty on your head. Give yourself up! I'm going to bring in Firefly myself. Don't send anyone else in until I tell you it's safe. You'll stay the hell out of this! You hear me? Ooh. How many bombs are on this bridge? Four! Four! One here, one directly above us, in the bridge sublevel. And one more at each end of the bridge. Those are the big ones. That's all of them. I promise. Then I promise you a good night's sleep. <laughs> one bomb down. Now to find the other three. Untie me, you self-righteous son of a bitch! It was never Sionis. The Joker put up the bounty, and now he's behind bars. I heard. But I still got a score to settle with you. I'm giving you the rest of the night off. That must be the fire door Gordon engaged. Gordon, open the fire door in the train depot so I can disarm Firefly's bomb at the north end of the bridge. Get off this frequency! Now! Listen, I'm on my way to disarm the bomb at the south end. Have this door open by the time I get back. You let me do my job, and stay the hell out of my way! Damn it. Alfred, there's a fire door blocking my progress. I need codes to get past it. The police should have access to those codes. Perhaps Captain Gordon... Gordon won't cooperate. I'm heading to get the other bomb. Get those codes to me by the time I'm done. Right. I'll do my best.
I need to grapple onto Firefly. It's a risk I've got to take. My name is a the bat. Don't give him too much credit. Something tells me that if you hadn't given the bomb squad the breach order, this bridge would be at the bottom of the river. Get him out of here. Eh. You didn't listen. Not big on taking orders from wanted men. I'm not big on taking orders from cops. I should have gotten to that last bomb. Yeah. And I should have given you access to that security door. But between the two of us, we covered it pretty well. Come on, damn it! All units, all units, Code 10. This is Code 10 confirmed at Blackgate Prison. Suspect identified as the Joker. You're going to be alright. I know I haven't always been supportive of what you do, but I understand now. Go. They need you out there. I can't defend Gotham. I can't even defend my own home. Master Bruce.
Master Bruce, now is not the time for doubt. I can't do it. I can't stop them. No, you can't. Not on your own. But it's high time you realize that you are a man, not an island. And a man's strength comes not from just brawn and intelligence, but also from his allies. One alert. The Joker has escaped from his cell and is leading the riots at Blackgate. Repeat, the Joker has taken over the entire prison. Multiple casualties, multiple hostages. Again, we have lost Blackgate. Captain Gordon is calling on anyone, anyone for assistance. They need you. No, they need us. Thanks. Thanks for... I could use your help. Captain Gordon's on his way. Secure the gates for him, then help him lock this place down. The Joker cannot be allowed out of here. Yes, sir. We're on it. Prison Officer 47 to Captain James Gordon. What is your ETA at Blackgate? About five minutes. You getting those gates open? Be ready by the time you're here. Sir, I've been listening to the reports coming out of Blackgate. Everything okay? I should be asking you that. How are you feeling? Well, it's not every day that one's heart must be crudely resuscitated by defibrillation, but I must say I feel remarkably well, considering. Good to hear. Any arrhythmia, let me know immediately. Of course. But honestly, Bruce, I do think you have bigger things to worry about right now. <laughs> Occupational hazard. Look, I know why you're here. He's in the Panopticon, and he's waiting for you. Apparently, the Joker's afraid of me. Wouldn't let me out. And for good reason. I don't like having my time wasted. You should have known trying to kill me was a waste of your time. <laughs> Well, you won't have to worry about that anymore. Not unless someone else puts up 50 million bucks. I wasn't worried. <laughs> Let him go! I... I understand you. You had a chance to let me die, and you didn't take it. <laughs> I bet right now you're wishing you had. I've killed a lot of people. <laughs> I've brought the city to its knees, crippled the police force, and it's not even time to unwrap our presents! <laughs> Ship it! Let's do this. Okay, okay. So, what our friend Vane holds in his hand is... A heart monitor. Once he clamps it on, every beat of his bacon little heart will charge the battery on this electric chair. And when it's fully charged... <laughs> so either you kill Bane... <laughs> no, won't kill him. But you will. 
You will fight me with all your resolve, or you will die. Someone is going to die. You, me, or the clown. The question of which one of us it is, is in your hands. You won't make it. You don't need to. Jim, 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 Jim. Have a seat, Jimbo. We'll fry together like two little potato latkes. I got a pulse. I'm gonna jumpstart your heart. Kill you again. May you find the peace in death that you did not find in life. I'm not looking for peace. I can use my shock gloves to temporarily stop Eddie's heart. It's over, Joker. Let Captain Gordon go. Yeah, put the gun down, freak. How about I put you down? Gordon! Well, that's the Christmas spirit. <laughs> well, I'd love to stay and celebrate your victory, but I've got stockings to stuff, mistletoe to hang, and about 15 skyscrapers to blow up before sunrise. Ciao! <laughs> I'm glad you had your vest on. He's got my gun! Gordon, Joseph, I need your help to stop the Joker. Our help? You're the so-called vigilante. Or is one kill enough for you tonight? Bane's in cardiopulmonary arrest. I have only minutes to resuscitate him before it's too late. You mean, you didn't? That's not how I do things. Now go.
Bane's lab. I'll start looking into it now, sir. Master Bruce, the TN1 Bane just injected will reach its full potency in ten minutes. If you can't defeat him by then, you won't be able to withstand his attacks. Yes, and thank you for the help with Bane. I trust he's down for good this time. He's secure, and it appears the TN1 Bane took damaged his memory permanently. Ah, does that mean he won't be revealing your identity? Looks that way. Glad to hear it, sir. And the Joker? He's still on the loose, but not for long. This is Captain Gordon at Blackgate Prison, requesting immediate medevac. Warden Joseph has been shot. Repeat, Warden Joseph is down. EMP chopper on route. ETA 15 minutes. Tell them to hurry up! <laughs> Where's Gordon? Sniper! Would your locals back for more? I've got enough of you for one night. Not yet, you haven't. Son of a bitch! <laughs> Screw this! Want the Joker? Take him. Help me keep these guys off the warden. Oh, no. Joseph, they're on their way. They're going to make it. Where's the Joker? He went through that door. Towards the chapel. Thanks. <laughs> oh, oh, that's. <laughs> it's just. It's so. <laughs> what a night! <laughs> Fresh off the kill and back for more, eh? Bane's still alive. Now that's. Not funny. <laughs> all this, all this <laughs> is all this for you or for me? You must know I'm a lost cause. <laughs> Give up! You've lost!
until it isn't it. You like the way it feels. It's what you need! <laughs> Your knuckles bleed. Why quit there? <laughs> you know there's only one way to stop me. <laughs> Any one of my guys would have killed him. The city deserves better than that. You know, my daughter thinks you're a hero. But I still have to bring you in. Gordon, come in! Watch your 20! I'm in the chapel. We got the Joker. Son of a bitch! You caught him! Then how did you do that? I... had some help. I keep asking myself why I didn't bring him in. And I now know the truth is I let him go because of you. Because you believe in him. I don't know. They put me in charge of a station full of rotten cops. And I can't change them any more than I can change this damn city. Or at least that's what I used to think. <laughs> Stop his heart! That is funny. <laughs> Good one, Bats! <laughs> oh, this is going to be fun! Maybe... Maybe I can give them something to believe in. Maybe he can give them something to believe in. <laughs> Figured you'd be by sooner or later. And what happens if I don't sign? You rot in here, or you work for me. It's been a long night, Alfred. Why don't you turn in? Wouldn't dream of it, sir. Not until you're back safe and sound. Well, if you're sure you're up for it, I've got a few loose ends to tie up out here. And I could use your help. You can count on it. And when you get home, we can finally have that Christmas dinner I've been keeping warm for you, for our breakfast. There's nothing here. Shiva. Trying to collect the bounty? That's just a consolation prize. In case you fail the test. Test? I don't have time for this. Somewhere in New Gotham, an innocent man is about to die. And we both know you won't allow that. So the question is, can you find him, Batman? Can you save him? <clears throat> Mr. Bat, I didn't do anything. They ambushed me, strung me up. I don't want to die. Please, don't hurt me. Who did this to you? Th th they were all covered up, like ninjas. Shiva. Who? Where are they now? I don't know. My partner shot one of them and split. They finished stringing me up and took off after him. You should call the precinct, have them send a car for you, then find some place to wait. Will do. Thanks! I'm too late.
Why did you kill him? Because you wouldn't. He was corrupt. A murderer. But there's no justice in this. What do you know of justice? Behind bars or beyond them, these people never change. As long as they live, Gotham is stained. This isn't the way. And here I thought you might understand. Still, the test must continue. Meet me at Sheldon Park. <laughs> Why did you come? Don't you have a city to save? You killed a man. Yes. A lesson that seems lost on you. And many more will die if you do not learn it. Then you'll stand trial for all of them. <laughs> I admire your passion, though your cause is flawed. Now, let us fight. <laughs> the test is ended, and with it, your life! Skilled, honorable, devoted. I see now why the Master has chosen you. It seems we have both learned something today. I don't care about you or your Master. I'm bringing you in. No, you're not. But you have earned a reprieve. I hope in time you come to realize how wrong you are about Gotham. It is not meant to be saved. It cannot be saved. Only cleansed. And from the ashes, reborn. <clears throat> Alfred, I'm sending you two sets of coordinates. One is for a body, the other's for a survivor. Make sure they get to GCPD. Of course, Sam. Shall we consider the case closed, then? For now. I doubt tonight's the last I'll see of Shiva. I believe in the choice. So, I offer you one. Let them detonate, or stop them. Your actions will determine what I do with you. Hey, mister! Over here! I've planted three bombs where Gotham's corruption is at its strongest. But unlike those I fight to overthrow, I believe in choice. So, I offer you one. Let them detonate, or stop them. Hello? Whoa, whoa easy now. I ain't looking for a fight. Got a message, that's all. Anarchy says if you're gonna make a withdrawal, you better do it soon. Crime and violence. Greed and vengeance. It's also a story. When somebody's gone, we'll have a new system. You don't look friendly. Oh! fellow mentioned three bombs, which means two still remain. I need to find them. I've no doubt you will, sir. We gotta shut them down to shut them up. Otherwise, we'll never be free. Only if everyone else does, too. Sick of being manipulated. I'm like some corporate tool. Use this. Buy this. Need this. Right, you know, cops don't care about us. We're better off without him. You already knew that, didn't you? Honor? No. Interesting. Even after knowing all you did about the places I targeted, you spared them. Sorry to disappoint you. Disappoint me? Not at all. Come on down to the courthouse so we can continue Gotham's trial. Ah! I'm so glad you came! It's an honor, really. There's so much for us to discuss. What do you want? I'd like to propose an alliance. I think the two of us could accomplish great things together. I don't work with criminals. You need to turn yourself in. Tell you what. I'll turn myself in as soon as you do the same. But you don't consider yourself a criminal, do you? The suit, the gadgets, the sense of entitlement. You're just another rich kid atoning for his fiscal sins. Such a shame. But I'm not afraid of you!
You're just a kid. So? What does it matter? I wanted to make a difference. I thought you'd feel the same. I do, but not like this. A lot of innocent people almost died tonight because of you. Innocent? They watched as Gotham went to hell and didn't do a thing! They're just afraid. No, they're weak! And so are you. The police are on their way. Do you ever wonder how things got to be so bad here? I do. All the time. See, I don't think men like Roman Sionis or Oswald Cobblepot are responsible. They're just a reflection of our apathy, our greed, our fear. We look the other way when things turn sour, bury ourselves in our jobs, consume propaganda masquerading as entertainment. The message is always the same. Don't think, don't question. And what becomes of a society that's given up? It rots. Fills up with liars, cheaters, and thugs. Uptown and downtown. The suit in the penthouse is no better than the guy selling drugs in the corner. They're both doing whatever it takes to get ahead. Never mind the cost. Fidelity. Once upon a time, that's what defines society. People coming together in pursuit of common cause. To care for each other. To protect and provide. We took shelter from the darkness and the things that roamed it. Community meant progress. But now, it's all backwards. We worship at the altar of competition. We build fortresses around ourselves. We fight and betray. Things we fear. You keep cleaning up after everyone, Batman, and no one's going to learn to take care of themselves. The ones that don't hate you, they'll start to rely on you. Depend on you. And if something happens to you, if you get old or bored or die, then what? Or do you not consider the world that revolves around you? You're a hypocrite, running around dispensing justice, telling people what they can and can't do. You're ensuring Gotham's freedom, provided it conforms to your twisted view. Whatever pleases the bad, that it? You're not a hero. A despot. You don't enforce justice. You suppress it. There's a way to make this work. T to show you that we share the same goals. Maybe I took things too far with the bombs and the threats. I, I can learn from that. I mean, you could be a mentor to me. And maybe, well, maybe I can teach you something too. Because I think you're so busy playing hero, you've forgotten what it's like for the rest of us. We're not all as strong as you. We don't have the fancy gadgets. How do you think you're better than everyone? Above reproach. Is that it then? We're not as good as you? You know what? I take it back. I don't want to work with you. You don't have anything to offer. I think I figured it out. You didn't take me down because I broke the law. No. No, no, you took me down because you don't want the competition. That's what this is really about, isn't it? Let me ask you something. You ever wonder if you're the reason the city's so messed up? Because I have. A lot of us have. I'm starting to think we are right. Leave now, and we will spare you. Fine, you want the club? It's yours. But when the boss finds out about this, he will stay away if he values his life. Ah! The bat! You have come as Bane said you would. Fly down from your perch then, so I can kill you! I thought you'd never ask. You don't <laughs> Who are you? They call me Bird! Bane's lieutenant. Putting you away should set him back. <laughs> Bane already has all he needs. He will find you. He will break you! 
Alfred, put in a call to GCPD. They'll want to bring these men in for questioning. I was hoping you'd show up. Saves me the trouble of having to hunt you down. You just don't know when to quit, Sionis. Guess we've got that in common. One way or another, I'm taking you in. Now we can do this the easy way, or... Yeah, yeah, or, or the hard way. But I think you know my choice. Then we've got that in common, too. <laughs> Alfred, let GCPD know Roman Sionis has been apprehended. They can pick him up at the church. Straight away, son. You know what's so great about you, Batman? Even when I lose, I win. So go ahead, call the cops. They'll lock me up, sure. But my lawyer will have me out on bail before the sun's up. And you know what I'm gonna do when I get out? I'm gonna dedicate every waking minute to tracking you down and taking you out. And the best part is, there's not a damn thing you can do about it. Because that justice system you love so much, it's a scam. And you... <laughs> well, you're the mark. Because you keep tossing us in, and we keep bouncing right back out. Oh, careful now. I don't want any accidents. Everything needs to be perfect. Of course. Of course, sir. You must refer to me as sir at all times. Do you understand? Yes. Yes, what? Yes. I understand. Yes, I understand, sir. Yes, no. Sir. Of course. Oh, this is me mad. <laughs> I'll have to put in refining the neural interface. Oh, the good news, the best news, really, is that it works. You all listen. Maybe. It really is an honor to make your ever... Where's the girl? Whatever do you mean? Alice. Excellent. And you know why you're here. What are you talking about? Oh, perhaps we don't see eye to eye after all. Let me remedy that. Tick tock. Watch the clock. What did you do? Wonderland, Batman. Oh, it's where I first met Alice. You know? Oh, what grand adventures we had. But then they took her from me. Poor sweet Alice. Lost and alone. I had to find her. Had to bring her home, and so I did. It was quite the journey, let me tell you. But she's here again, safe with me. Still, forces of the Queen are everywhere, conspiring to reclaim her, which is why I brought you here. Who better to protect Alice than the Batman himself?
You must be wondering why I brought you down here. Well, see, I developed the most wonderful device. One that compels obedience. Now with weaker minds it works quite easily. Stick my creation on their heads and just like that, they're under my control. The stronger willed individuals, however, require a bit of oh breaking in. And this, my friend, brings us to the here and now. You are my Humpty Dumpty, Batman. Your mind is shattered. And when I put the pieces back together, you'll be mine. Forever. <laughs> Did you know time moves in seven different directions here, but you've stuck to just one? Forward, always forward? Oh, how boring. So why don't we try moving back? Tell me what you see. He just has to leave. Really now, you're becoming my pet peeve. Don't worry, you're safe now. Police are on their way. Everything's going to be all right. No, it's not. <laughs> no survivors. Someone will pay for this. I need to set up a crime scene to find out who. The helicopter was spinning out of control. The pilot was killed on impact, not from the gunshot I heard. But what caused him to lose control? Maybe I can learn more back on the rooftop. I can analyze the first point of impact from here. The helicopter's tail rudder was severed when the fuselage hit the building. I should review the crime scene and find that tail rudder. The helicopter crashed when a high-powered round shattered the tail rudder. The ballistics analysis will lead me to the shooter's position.
doesn't add up. This man's a member of SWAT. So why'd he fire on a police helicopter? This man didn't fire at the helicopter. He was aiming at me. The ballistics trace indicates this officer was killed by a ricochet from the same round that took down the chopper. There's only one person capable of a shot like this. Deadshot. The trajectory analysis will lead me to Deadshot's firing position. This must be where the shot originated. I should scan the area. Just as I suspected, the shell casing matches others in the criminal database, and they're all linked to Deadshot. But his trail ends here, unless... There are numbers on the bullet casing. 451326. Looks like a radio frequency. Hello, Batman. I see you decoded my message. Well done. But I'm afraid to play my game. Come meet me at the bank so I can put a bullet in you and collect my prize. Oh, and in case you're thinking of backing out, I've got a hostage and a very itchy trigger. I think I don't see you slacking off over there. Got you covered, boss. face at last. Though well, I've got to say, I was expecting someone a little more intimidating. You're through terrorizing Gotham. If fate's decided today's the day, so be it. Just finish me quickly, will ya? People caring for people. Compassion. That's the foundation Gotham was built on. And I have proudly built Golf Corp on that same foundation. That's why we're called the People Company. Thank you so much. Please. Mr. Boyle seems to be after your title as Gotham's biggest philanthropic industrialist. Gotham needs more people like him. Bruce! Hey. <laughs> I am blown away by your support. It's well deserved. You're going to change the world, Ferris. Hey, we'll change it together, right? <sighs> Pardon me, Mr. Boyle. The press is waiting. Well, this way, please. I'd say the future is looking <laughs> very, very bright for Gotham. Now, it's almost midnight, and you all know what that means. Let's get this New Year's Eve party going with the... Whew. Forget to pay your heating bill, Bruce. <laughs> <laughs>
Ford. Where's Ferris? Alfred. Hold it right there! Yeah, got him! Butler's gone crazy. Are you cowards afraid of an old man? Just take it easy. <laughs> Hope that face wasn't worth something. Cilantros! Are you okay? I've been through worse. These are penguins, men. What do they want with Ferris? I'm not sure. They're being led by someone in a mechanized suit. I need to find Ferris before they do. Well, you're no use to us dressed like that. You need to put on your other suit. The closest entrance to the Batcave is in the study. There's Bruce. He'll help us. Bruce. Bruce, do you have a minute? Someone said an iceberg just appeared, uh, exploded in the ballroom. I need details. What happened? Who do you think... Where's Ferris? He never made it to the interview. Wait, you're not going out there alone, are you? Stay with Alfred. He'll keep you safe. With these guests about, perhaps you should look for that uh, item in the wine cellar. You're right. Be careful passing through the library, sir. Penguin's men have infiltrated the entire manor. You keep out of harm's way. No more heroics. These animals don't frighten me. Alfred. You'd better get to the wine cellar before I have to take on Penguin's entire gang myself. I don't have time to prep the XE suit for deployment. I'll need Alfred to put the finishing touches on it. Get back to the manor and find Ferris before Penguin's men do. Alfred, what happened to the power? Sir, you must hurry. They're setting the manor ablaze. I've managed to get most of the guests into the east and south wings, but... Hey, it's the butler! Alfred. Alfred! to get these people to safety, but the Wayne Crest is blocking the exit. Please, the Crest is blocking the way out. You have to move it so we can escape. That was amazing. You just picked those goons apart. Shh, quiet. We've got Ferris Boyle in the next room. I, I think they're going to kill him. We need to get you out of here. I... I heard about you. I have no quarrel with you. Then you crashed the wrong party. Freeze? What do you want with me? I just require a moment of your time. Let me go! Help! Help me! He's a Looks like Freeze isn't the only one with a cryogenic weapon. This door is frozen shut. I'll need to enter the ballroom through the balcony. Is he taking Ferris? I, I don't know. I promise. Do you have any idea how many of your friends I sent to the hospital on Christmas Eve? Look, one of Penguin's dealers. He's doling out the weapons Freeze gave us. He must know. We were supposed to meet up in South Gotham. You can meet up in the emergency room instead. Someone like Ferris Boyle. It's sickening. 
I know you'll bring him to justice, sir. I'll see this one wheeled into Blackgate on a gurney. Dispatch, confirming that code 3. Looks like these anarchy fanatics are taking advantage of the lack of police presence down here. Roger, 82. Continue to monitor. Do not engage without backup. <laughs> no chance of that. I should deal with those anarchy followers. But first I need to track down Penguin's dealer and find out where Freeze has taken Ferris. Finding Penguin's dealer is the key to finding Freeze. I should scan this area for clues that might tell me where he went. Whatever this substance is, it's slowly shutting his systems down. Putting him into cryostasis, I won't be able to safely remove him from the ice without the thermal gloves built into the XE suit. The officer just chanced upon Penguin's men. He wasn't equipped to deal with this cryotech, but the cryo gun was leaking. If I hurry, this trail will lead me right to Penguin's men. Then I can make them tell me where this tech came from. Alfred, Penguin's men are using cryogenic weapons to encase innocent people in ice. I'm going to need the thermal gloves and the XC suit to break them free. I'll get to work immediately, sir. Any idea where these weapons are coming from? I'll get that answer when I catch up with Penguin's dealer. I give up! Uh, where's Freeze? You think I know? You plan on celebrating the new year in traction? Okay, okay. He, he made a deal with Penguin. Weapons in exchange for some stiff, uh, uh, Ferris Boyle. He's in Gothcorp last I saw. You're lying. Gothcorp doesn't make weapons. What? No, I, uh, Gothcorp, I swear. Look, I've got the entry codes. I'll take those. It doesn't make sense. Gothcorp involved in weapons tech. There's got to be more to this. Oh. You come on. Sure thing, boss. Those men were armed. How'd you do that? Where are they taking Ferris? Mr. Boyle? They, uh... They're heading to the propellant research wing. These guys have been raiding the whole facility. Do you have the codes to this security door? No, I don't have clearance. But my boss does. A bunch of them took him to the organics lab, through the lobby. I'll make sure they don't hurt your boss. Get yourself to safety. Holy crap! I saw you on GNN! You just saved my life! You have codes I need to access the propellant research wing. I do. Here. Take them. You're going to save Mr. Boyle, right? It's not safe inside Gothcorp. You need to get out of here. Don't worry. I won't be hanging around. And, uh, thanks, you know? Not just for me. For Gotham. Give me Boyle or I'll freeze this entire room. Oh, I know you won't. Boyle's got the code you need. And I ain't giving him up. Unless I get what he's giving you. What's behind this door is of no interest to you. What I'm interested in is the weapons I was promised. I know you're rolling out on me! This will not end well, Ho-ho! I think you're confused about what exactly it's about to happen. As soon as you show us that big fishbowl, my balls are blowing up. And if that doesn't work, I'll be Let him go. 
Threats are meaningless to a man who has lost everything. <laughs> What's Freeze after? Why does he need Boyle? Boyle's got codes he needs to access some kind of super weapon. And now you let him have it! That ice is the only thing saving you from getting the beating you deserve. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, you ought to save our friend Mr. Boyle, yeah? But you'll never break through this ice. Gothcorp has a device. It's uh, uh, like a drill. A cryo drill. Tell me where it is. I had my men bring all our uh, acquisitions to the My Alibi nightclub. For safekeeping, of course. Then you better hope your men are still at my alibi. If I want to break through this barrier of ice, I'd better get to the My Alibi nightclub before Penguin's men decide to relocate. He busted the security system on the exit to the lobby. We can escape. No one's escaping until we get the Penguin. So I don't care what you are. A guard, an engineer, or a damn snow cone vendor. Fix this situation, or my friends and I are gonna fix you! Understand? Okay, okay. Just, just let me think. What is that? Uh, uh, where'd you come from? That was incredible. Come with me. I'm getting you out of here. Thanks for getting me out of there. What are you gonna do now? After I've recovered the cryo drill, I'm coming back here to save Ferris. But isn't Freeze gonna try to stop you? With any luck. Alfred, what's the status of the XC suit? I've just finished loading it into a drop container. Good news. I'm on my way to my alibi to recover a stolen cryogenic drill. Have the Batwing drop it there. It's on its way. Thermal gloves should help you deal with most ice you encounter, sir, and the suit will provide protection from cold and cryo vapor. I just hope its bulk won't slow you down. The honeycomb structure insulates against extreme cold without increasing weight. It won't slow me down a bit. We ain't going nowhere till you tell me exact. No more. Just. You stole a cryogenic drill from Goth Corp. Well, yeah, but it ain't here. Penguin said to sell off the parts. It's in pieces. Where are they? I'll tell you. I'll tell you. Just don't drop me off a roof, okay? Maybe next time. Sir, your map has been updated with the locations of the components you'll need to rebuild the cryogenic drill. Thanks, Alfred. I'm on it. I've assembled the cryo drill, but it requires some kind of superconducting fluid to operate. Ah, here it is, sir. An organic supercoolant used in an experimental lab run by one Victor Freeze. As in, Mr. Freeze. It seems too great a coincidence to ignore. It says here that Ferris had Mr. Freeze's lab shut down. If he's a disgruntled employee out for revenge, then this is about more than just stealing weapons tech. Uh, Freeze's lab is under quarantine. Some kind of accident. I'm on my way back to Gothcorp now. There's more going on here than a simple accident. This security guard's skin has the same blue coloration as Freeze's. I should set up a crime scene. Data analysis indicates that he died from heat stroke, but the control room doesn't show signs of overheating. This is some kind of crystallized chemical residue. Traces lead back into the lab. The trail ends here. I should scan for more evidence.
two men struggled. One of them ran out of the lab. That would be the dead security guard I found. These palm prints are a match for Victor Freeze. He must have watched the security guard die. Freeze scavenged what he needed from various prototypes to build himself a super-cooled survival suit. Extreme pressure built up inside the tank when ice sealed these outtakes. It appears that this guard was frozen by the cryo-vapors from the resulting explosion. The evidence suggests the guard was frozen before the tank ruptured, perhaps by Freeze's cryo cannon. These DNA traces are a match for Victor Freeze. Spatter analysis suggests a blunt impact. Someone assaulted Freeze with a weapon. The cannon was knocked over and fired. When the tank exploded, it released a plume of cryochemicals. The plume enveloped Freeze and the guard. The shockwave knocked the assailant clear. I need to find that weapon. It may have evidence I can use to identify the assailant. DNA analysis confirms the gun was used to bludgeon Victor Freeze, and fingerprint analysis shows Ferris Boyle. It was Ferris. Something was wheeled through this fluid, possibly a gurney. The fluid must have frozen almost immediately for these tracks to have been preserved. Odd. Freeze was secretly doing research on Huntington's Korea. But this is a cryogenic weapons lab. The test subject was... Nora Freeze. Now I know what happened here. Boyle hired Victor to help advance the secret cryo-weapons program within Gothcorp. In exchange, Boyle agreed to devote Gothcorp resources to finding a cure for Nora's Huntington's. But Boyle was more interested in how Victor had managed to put Nora into cryostasis. When Victor realized that Boyle had no intention of following through on their deal, he decided to do the Huntington's research himself. But Boyle didn't like that. The cryochemical cocktail altered Victor's metabolism, as well as the guards. Boyle escaped ahead of the plume and had the lab quarantined. Victor survived, but he knew that leaving the supercooled lab would kill him. So he built himself a suit and utilized an organic supercoolant to keep his core temperature sub-zero. All this violence. He's just trying to save his dying wife. The super coolant Victor uses in his suit is the same fluid I need for the cryo drill. Alfred, send Gordon the evidence I've gathered on Boyle's crimes. I'm sorry, Master Bruce. I know you had high hopes for what Ferris could do for Gotham. That doesn't matter now. Victor's plan was never to kill Boyle. He needs Boyle's security access to get his wife out of Gothcorp. That's all he wants. And now, you're going to stop him? I have to. And are you still going to need that gurney? I am. But not for Victor. Come on, Batman. Uh, you got a price, yeah? Uh, name it. It's yours. You, you're gonna get me on this damn iceberg. You're good right where you are. Uh, but, but you can't leave me here. I'll freeze to death! Not my problem. Oh, so you come back to gloat, have you? Oh, I'll hang you with that bloody cape, you hear me? Don't leave me here, buddy. We're freezing to death! Oh, let's be reasonable. You 
you're gonna let me die here now, are you? Are you? I know the truth, and so will the police. Boyle will face judgment for his crimes. It, it was an accident! You don't know what you're talking about! What? Nothing matters, do you understand? Nothing but my Nora! You've endangered lives all over this city. Nora would never have wanted this. She wants us to live a long life in the warmth of the sun. Her hand in mine. But because of him, she'll only feel the icy touch of a man whose emotions run as cold as the blood in his veins. We may defeat him. Now get in here and find the madman! Sir, you need to find the control panels for those cryogenerators and disable them. Boyle is the real criminal here, Batman. Help me get my wife and no one else needs to get hurt. Let's see how well you do when the air freezes in your lungs. going to have a problem explaining what happened in your lab. I mean, the police are never going to look at me after what you did. And with this bat freak dead, there won't be anyone left to say otherwise. Cryogenic containment failing. Yeah. And that just leaves you. Please, you can save her. You just have to buy past the file cover. Victor! She died! Oh. I'll keep you alive long enough to see her go!
Cryogenic containment restored. I'm sorry, Victor. I can't give you peace. But I can give you justice. Oh, <sighs> 